Next, the magician has a popular illusion that has stunned millions. Here's his assistant. She's a stunner, too. He tells the girl that her hand will have a starring part in this miniature guillotine. The blade of this contraption is razor-sharp steel. He places her hand through a hole in the device. She'd better wave bye-bye now. The way these things work, she won't be able to do it later. The blade goes into the top of the guillotine. There's still time to back out, but she's game. With her permission, he slams the blade down. She screams. Why wouldn't she? He's just sliced off her hand. Well, what did she think was going to happen? The magician takes the towel and reaches into the basket. He returns her hand. Too little, too late. Maybe some magic will make it all better. A little conjuring, and the hand is good as new. She forgives and forgets. Now forgive me if I ask how it's done. So how did the magician plunge a genuine razor-sharp blade through the wrist of his lovely assistant, apparently removing her hand? Of course, he didn't. The secret here is in the miniature guillotine. With the basket removed, we can easily see a large space beneath the opening for the hand. The space is normally concealed by the basket, and there's good reason. When the blade is thrust downward and the assistant's hand appears to fall into the basket, the entire center section of the guillotine slides down into the empty space. The assistant's hand and wrist slide down with the center panel. From the back, we can see how the panel with the hand hole is designed to slide. At the start of the trick, the center panel is secured in an upright and locked position with a simple cabinet door latch. When the blade is pushed down into the mechanism, it strikes this wooden ledge, releasing the latch and causing the trick panel to drop. She screams, but the blade goes nowhere near the girl's wrist. But then how do we see the blade behind the hand hole after her wrist has supposedly been sliced? The secret here is an identical second hole in the center panel, directly above the first. When the panel slides down, the second hole replaces the first. We can see the blade behind this second duplicate hole. Let's see it again in slow motion without the basket covering the secret. Next, the magician uses the empty towel to pretend to pick up the severed hand and give it back to the agonized girl. He gives a magical gesture and reveals that her hand is good as new. Watch again without the basket. He reaches in with the towel as the girl pulls her hand out of the bottom hole. All she does now is remove the towel to reveal her hand. And those are the cutting edge secrets to a classic trick.